You all remember the vision hunt decree, right? I don't think Kazuha could ever forget it because his friend's vision and life were stolen from him. Now, luckily, the vision hunt decree came to an end, but what would happen if it started up again? Kazuha might once again be in risk of losing his vision. And if that were to happen, he wouldn't be able to fight back because he relies on that vision to gain his powers. But what if he didn't? So many people seem to be building Kazuha as an animo swirl support. It, that, that's just, why? Why would you do that to him? He is so much more capable than that. Now I understand, you know, you've seen everybody else do it. It has to be the right way to go about things. But you see, that relies on his vision, which could at any point be taken away from him. What can't be taken away from him though, is his physical damage. So today, we will be seeing just how strong physical Kazuha can get. I've had this in the works for pretty much since Kazuha's last rerun. We got the attack, we got the crit rate, we got the crit damage. We even have 124% physical damage bonus. Now, sure, I will admit these are not the best stats in the world. As you see, we only have a two-piece bloodstained chivalry artifact set. I don't know why I said it like that. But if we go through, you could see, you know, we got some crit here. We got some crit and attack there. Ignore the defense. We got more crit. We got physical damage with crit damage and crit rate with crit damage as well. And you know, the only five star weapon I have on this account is the Aquila Favonia. So why would I give it to someone like say Bennett, who's just a four star? He doesn't need it. Give it to Kazuha, the five star. Look at how nicely it matches his vision. But of course, if we're going to run a physical Kazuha, we kind of need to level up his normal attacks, right? So here's some footage of me doing exactly that. Now, as you can see here, I've been investing in him the proper way. Clearly, everybody starts out with his normal attacks, but this is only level eight. That needs to go higher. I don't know if I'm going to be able to crown it per se, but we can try to get close. We can go ahead and make two more philosophies of a diligence. And then I think we needed like two more of these. I don't know, something like that. No, that, that was wrong. We had enough of those. We needed one more of these. I knew that. Here you go, Kazu. Have a level nine normal attack. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know that on this account, I don't like to craft stuff all that often. I'd rather just go out and farm for more of it. But I want to make this video and oh boy, yes. And if we're going to build a physical Kazuha, you know, we need to do it right. Can I make two more of these? I sure hope so. The rest of my team is yelling at me right now because they all need Ashtaha's drops, but you know, they're gonna have to wait their turn. Today is the day of physical Kazuha. So let's just go ahead, crown his normal attack, and that should help us hit some better numbers. That is correct. We have crowned Kazuha's normal attack. And I know most people do end up crowning this eventually because when he does his elemental skill, it factors in the normal attack damage for the plunge. But, uh, as you could see, I doubt most people level that up first. Maybe they do. Maybe this is completely normal. But this is just so satisfying. Look at that. Boom. Boom. Oh, you want some? Boom. Wait, no, come back here. Boom. It's just so nice. But now, of course, physical damage, you know, we could make it stronger. And since this is my main account, of course, Raiden Shogun's going to be on the team. I will literally almost never take her off of my team. So, you know, she's on an all right build. She's got some electro damage bonus, but she's here just to apply electro. And then we have Rosaria, who is not really built whatsoever. I just chucked some random artifacts on her. But with her C6 passive, her burst now decreases opponent its physical resistance by 20%. And then we're also using Shen He. You might think, well, you're not using a main DPS cryo, so what's the point? Well, let me explain. First off, look at her. I don't think I need to say more. But in case I do, let me say more. If we go to her talents, her ascension passive makes it so that when you use her elemental skill and hold it, everyone on the team gets a normal charged and plunging attack damage bonus of 15%. In addition to that, if you use her burst, it decreases the physical resistance of opponents, which yes, when you level this up, that also goes up as well, but I kind of can't ascend her right now. So we'll just have to settle with the 11% resistance decrease. As you can see, I'm not really close to ascending her again. And then Kazuha comes along with his 124% physical damage bonus and his Aquila Favonia. And well, we just try and do as much damage as possible. Problem is it's hard to test this because we want to fight an enemy with low physical resistance and defense. Hilly Trills, 
they're great for that. But in order to use this set correctly, I would have to use Raiden's skill, Rosaria's bursts, Shenhe's skill and burst, and then start using normal and charged attacks. And by then, the Hillichurls are usually dead. Let me demonstrate. I'll even use her skill back here. We'll approach, use the burst, use Shenhe's skill, use Shenhe's burst, and look, now I can attack. Now I... Now and they're all dead. So we're off to try and fight Pyro Regisvine. I say try because we don't have Hydra, we don't have a healer, so, you know, I'm really good at getting hit by enemies. This is probably not gonna end well, but maybe I'll prove myself wrong. All right, so, burst, uh, charged, burst. Just gonna proc Rydens to make sure it's there, and then just start spamming some charge attacks. Well, look, 10k, not too bad. Some more 10, oh, you're dead. But you know, I, I would say that that was pretty good. What's another good spot to try out some damage tests? I think the most obvious one would be the Spiral Abyss. Now there is a slight problem with that, allow me to show you. If we head inside said Spiral Abyss, we can see that I haven't cleared it. And that's not because I'm lazy, it's because I can't. I'd almost prefer that it was because I'm lazy. And it's all set up right now for Dendro stuff, which um, I'm not exactly using, but let's just bring it in. For the chamber buff, I just took the healing effectiveness up because that way it won't affect our damage. And now we can just freely test this out. So let's just use one of these, one of these, maybe one of those, and uh, just, you know, group them all together and start using, and start, start attack. And then, and then try to, everything dies too quick. What am I supposed to do when everything just dies? I can't get a good damage test. That's unfortunate. Also ignore this team. I don't have a second team, so we're just gonna use this for now. It's fine. But I mean, I mean, Kokomi is a whole team just by herself. She doesn't even need the rest. This is essentially what I've been doing on the second team of my Abyss anyways. Cause uh, Kokomi kinda just carries, gotta say. If you don't have a Kokomi, you know, maybe consider getting a Kokomi. Okay, but here's damage test part two. Hillichurls. The best enemy to test this on, really. Throw out all of the bursts, all of the skills, and then charge attacks. Oh, so satisfying. So satisfying. Here we go again. Ready? Boom. One of these, one of those, one of this, one of the other things, and then charged. This is very difficult to test. All I know is it is so satisfying. Speaking of satisfying things, let's see if we can find ourselves a random Hillichurl. Actually, pretty sure they don't even render in when you're this high up, so there's a good chance that there might be one right here. Let's just try to get a nice plunging attack and hope that we hit something something. Okay, there was no enemy there whatsoever. Uh, did, ignore that. I of course knew that there was nothing there. I'll be honest, I don't know what a low versus high plunging attack is in terms of height, so I assume this should be a high plunging attack. Be kind of surprised if it isn't. Now, I do believe this enemy has quite good defenses, but let's see if we even hit it. And if we crit, this is my life now. This, this is, this is what I'm doing. I'm just flying around trying to find a Hillichurl. I'm simply patrolling the area and I cannot find a single Hillichurl. How is that possible? Okay, you know what? I got this. I, I know exactly where one is. First off, this little dude, get down there. Okay, now I'll be following you. Right about he- No, why would you run? That's a smart Hillichurl. <laughs> All right, you might have tricked me once, but you ain't gonna do it again. Come here, come here, come right over here. All right, nice. Now get off and I'll be following you down with a plunging attack. And it still didn't work. Third time's the charm, right? That's, that's what they always say. Will this be the time that the third time actually is the charm? I'll let you know in a few seconds. Get off, I'm following you down, boom. 19,000. I'd prefer to hit a 20,000. If I ate some food, I'm sure I could. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know what I could do. Watch this. Shenha, hold E, and then Kazuha, just come over here and plunge. And this should yes. not hit anyone. I don't think I could have landed on that if I tried. All right, part two, round two. Use the skill, and then this time we don't land on the fireplace. Boom, 21 thousand damage. That is pretty satisfying. Oh, I know where we could go. I believe the Viridescent Domain gives you a physical damage bonus. Am I correct? Wait, am I where? Here, yeah, here. The opponents in the challenge have decreased physical resistance. So technically, yeah, 75%. Ooh. Let's look at that. Oh, 
We are so close to 200% physical damage bonus. This should be fun. Uh, right. So, one of these, one of those, one of these, and that should give us our burst. Very nice. And then, uh, 16k? What about you? 16k? Pretty consistent 16k, I like that. And of course, we could use their skill just to group them back together, and then go back to using charged attacks. And, wow. Okay, that domain is very easy now. I'm so used to spells only where I literally cannot beat that. So to all of you who have randomly come into my streams and wondered why I have the Aquila Favonia on Kazuha and why Shen he is on this team when I usually have Kokomi in the second slot, now you know, because physical Kazuha is just so much more fun to me than the swirl set is. Gone are the days where Kazuha has been reduced to just a simple animo support. Kazuha finally gets to show his true potential as a physical main DPS. Pretty sure this is exactly what Hoyoverse had in mind when they designed this character. I mean, what else could they have been thinking? Let's go for it again. You'll survive this. And then, boom, boom. Oh, I was hoping he'd survive a little longer than that. Now, obviously, I'm making this video to show you this amazing set to spread the word of physical Kazuha. But maybe I should go and try to get some other people's opinions. Because obviously, I'm going to sit here all day and say that it's an amazing set that you should all definitely build. But the question is, would random people in co-op agree? I've joined the world of another Kazuha player. And coincidentally, we're both using an Archon as well. So we're just going to say that we built our Kazuha and we want him to raid it. The only downside is I would kind of need to find a cryo enemy to then proc the superconduct to get more bonuses, but I'm not going to worry about that. We'll just go in and do some raw damage with Kazuha. They just said their build for him isn't that great. Mine is unique. That's all I'm going to say. I mean, I could attack these. I feel kind of bad, but like, it works. <laughs> physical Kazuha. Like, they love it. See, it's not just me. I'm not the only one. I kind of want to just travel around with the two Kazus and see how they can do. And it looks like that's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> the power of double Kazuha. It's beautiful. Wait a minute. It's, wait, wait. Hey. They're using Aquila on the sword too, but they're not doing a physical build? Huh? Now I'm just a bit confused. Dang, I have never seen a Fizz Kazuha. I'm honored to be the first. I can't believe they're using Aquila too. Now that we're back in our world, I still think we need one more opinion. Because now they said that it was a great set. I think it's a great set. Let's see if somebody else thinks it's a good set. About 10 minutes later, I made it into somebody else's world. And we said hello at the same exact time. Oh, they're pulling out their own Kazuha. They're gonna want to compare damage, I bet. <laughs> yeah, they just said you can compare your build against mine as well. Which, I mean, I think they're doing just because they want to be helpful. But our builds are going to be completely different. So, you know, we're just gonna physically smack these enemies up a bit. They can take care of the Animo, and then I just use some physical damage. Easy. I don't think they've caught on yet. All right, all right, watch this. Watch this, person. Watch this oh i didn't create hold on watch what wa wa watch this you saw you saw that 15k all right look at that look at that 15k Th they don't i don't think they're really paying attention okay there's their plunging attack here's my plunging attack almost 20k <laughs> oh that's so funny is your build a dps one it's pure physical oh they said that they like it. Another person likes the build. Looks good to them. So now it's not just me. I have two people vouching that it's a good build. Once again, we're back in our world. And I'm greeted with some hillichurls. I think we need to do a little plunging attack here. Boom. 20k. Oh, that's so nice. And again. Boom! You can't tell me you don't like seeing that. It's just so good. I mean, just look at how happy Kazuha seems to be on a physical build. He loves it. Yeah, see? He just smiled. This is Kazuha's face when he's on a physical build. And this is Kazuha's face when he's on an EM build. When he's reduced to a mere support character. And now, yes, I could take all of these artifacts and put them on Eula, and she has a physical damage weapon. And then once I leveled all this up, she would probably hit significantly harder. But 
it's Kazuha. Like, it's physical Kazuha. No one does that. I think I'll leave it on him. Now, one other thing that we can go ahead and do is, well, really two things. The first thing we can do is complete this little request because they want me to exterminate some hilla churls and, well, I can do some pretty good damage on those. And if you'll look down here, by completing this, I will finally get my Inazuma glider for Raiden. So all that stands between me and completing Raiden Shogun's aesthetics are a couple of hilla churls and an abyss mage, it would seem. But let's see if we can get some crits. Boom. That was kind of underwhelming, not gonna lie. Also, yes, Rosaria is not currently on the team. I was doing some bounties and I kind of wanted heals, but with that, we finished this. Didn't really have a good showcase of Kazuha there, but we finally reached max reputation in Inazuma. Hello, sir, I believe you have something for me. A very special pair of gliders. Finally, finally, I can give these to the Raiden Shogun. And now every time I glide, it matches. Oh, that's such a nice purple. Well, I guess I can finally start doing reputation stuff for other regions again. So this is a really dumb idea, but I checked all of the other bounties in the other regions and none of them would give us a bonus for Kazuha. This is the best that I can get. And I know, you know, we're capped on reputation here, but for content sake, I'll waste the reputation points. Although, I mean, technically I don't have to kill it. I could just get some nice crits and leave. I do not miss Mondstadt bounties. All right, this is gonna be really annoying to try and get plunging attacks on, but that will be our best bet. So let's use one of these, one of these, one of these, and then uh, plunging attack. 28k. Okay. D Kazuha. No, 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 no. And he's in the sky. All right. Well, that's probably the best number we're going to hit. Kazuha was just too obsessed with nature to want to fight the boss. I had to go and climb the tree instead. All right. No burst this time. I, I, yeah, I don't think we're hitting higher than- Can you stop going in the sky? All right. Right in. Can you hit it from here? Probably not. What about with some- ch Oh, wait. You can. Oh, you, wait. You're dead. Oh. Okay, kind of disappointed we only did 28,000, but I mean, it does have some physical resistances, so oh well. I mean, physical Kazuha just seems to be a really good idea, so I think a lot more people should invest in a physical set for him. And with that being said, I'll see all of you guys next time.